Welcome in guys. We've got uh, another great Friday video. What would you, would you say that this video is gonna be great, good? Like- I think it's gonna be the best one ever. Best one ever guys. And you know it is because this is the last video that we're gonna post on in 2021. That's so it. that's it. This is the last one. So my name is Russell. I'm Tom. And we are the guys at Nissan Park CC. Olympia, Washington. Mm -hmm. If you're new here, welcome. We appreciate you. Hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. Uh, Tom's favorite little bell. Comment, give us a like. Tom doesn't count sheep. He counts notification bell. bells. Yes. So hit that bell, help Tom get some sleep tonight. <laughs> but uh, we, we inquired with you guys on Instagram and asked you know what some of your favorite moments of 21 was it's a good chance for us just to look back talk about things and i think 21 was pretty eventful it of, was a lot of cool stuff's happening and there's a lot of stuff coming in 22 you know that the you know we've we've kind of got the ball rolling on now but let's just let's jump into a couple um from some of our fans on instagram uh antoine jackson thank you antoine you're great follower fan, customer, all that good stuff. Local dude. Whole package, my guy. Yes. <laughs> uh, Antoine was excited about the GT500 and Z car. Um, and then 93 S13 Coupe said that he's very excited anytime we have S13 parts in stock and we are too. Yeah. <laughs> that, that will be, I, I will say now it's, it's better today than mm -hmm. it was six months ago, yeah. parts supply wise. So uh, all you guys that have been holding off on ordering parts because we didn't have it, now's a really good time. Um, Daniel's 240SX, um, excited about the Z car and also S13 fenders. And aren't we all about the S13 fenders unless you don't live close enough to try to pick them up. Right, we need to figure something out about that. We'll get it figured out. You guys we hang in there. We'll figure it out. We looked in the boxes, it was cost prohibitive. You wouldn't like the prices once the price of the box gets yeah. tapped on there as well. Well, and the other thing is too, is we haven't been able to even get any on the shelf. Right. So, you know, we don't really have a lot of reason to invest a ton of time into trying to find boxes and a solution right now because we can't even keep them right. from local guys. Um, and then Ed Voigt, I'm guessing is how you say that. V -O -I -G -T. Voigt, yes it is. Um, S13 window trim. He saw that we had window trim on Instagram and said that he felt pretty good about the fact that these cars are um, restorable in the extent because a lot of cars, I mean, S14 guys, the, the, a lot of the seals are discontinued. So S13, mm -hmm. you're lucky. Um, and then this, uh, you have to look at the screen name on the bottom got, of the screen. Um, but he was very excited to see when we posted B15 parts. And that is something that we really focused on in 21 was trying to expand a little bit. And um, there's gonna be a continuation of that. Let's just say that. I didn't hear that last part you said because I was trying to figure out what the set, what the writing here. XL, you heard optic. I think that's it. XL, you heard optic. Okay. There yeah, you I go. Think I figured that out. Nice. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was just talking about how we are we have been trying to expand yes you know not not just 240sx not just skyline things like that we've been putting in the time on the b13 the b15 the 14 d21 the wd21 uh dotson i mean we've been we've been kind of chipping away at dotson stuff for a while mm -hmm. and, um we appreciate you guys if you are a dotson owner and you bought parts from us um it it always it your orders always stick out like a sore thumb it's, I get so happy when I see Dodson I know, stuff. Me too. I'm like, oh, good. It's nice. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, and the fact that you guys are taking care of those cars is, is great. So what do you got for yours? Well, pretty much exactly what you just said. We have expanded our scope. We put in a wide angle lens on what we are looking for and we're digging up new stuff to get in and have on the shelf. Um, so that is one of the things that I, I look back in the 2021. It's like, yeah, we're doing a good job. We're like, yeah making a lot of people happy with the d21 parts dots and parts uh z32 stuff every once in a while we'll get somebody asking about it um and we did get quite a few, few numbers in mm -hmm. uh, for new parts yeah on the z32 and uh you know a lot of new people joined the nissan part cc fam wow um yeah i mean i don't want to say we're blowing up or we've gone viral 
No, but we we have this knack to just consistently chip away at, at, at you know fans and followers and you know th I think that's I think that's good growth. Yeah, it's awesome because it's easy to to reach a peak and, and never go anywhere. And I, I like the fact that we just kind of trickle up, trickle up, and and you know tell your friends if you're a fan of the page, tell your friends if they picked up a 240 or a Nissan or they're thinking about it. Maybe maybe what we do will motivate them to get one. Yeah, you never know. Tell your boy, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, what did you say? So, yeah, I think I got a few things here. So, New Frontier, um, nobody mentioned that. And, and, you know, that's one of the things we hope to change in 22. We mm -hmm. hope that somebody with a Frontier hops into these comments and, and lets us know. So, if you got 22 Frontier, let us know what you think about it. Tell us what you've done to it. If you've done nothing to it, it's just daily driver, whatever. Um, but I think the Frontier... Um, and I kind of knew about this going back, you know, over a year ago that Nismo was working on a lot of off-road development. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't realize the extent of what it was going to be, but they launched all this overlanding products, the, the racks for the bed, the tents. Um, they've got the six inch uh, off-road lights, yeah. which I posted the other day. Those are cool. And the accessories they released with it, they've Nissan. Nissan is investing time into doing unique things versus the same thing they've done for 20 years. Right. That's what I was thinking too. I mean, based on just the Frontier alone. Right. And then when you start pulling on, you know, the new Z car, the GT500, I get a sense of, of like renewed enthusiasm at Nissan. Yeah. Uh, they're like, okay, we've been chilling for a while. Yeah. Let's get back to work. And it's coming through with the Frontier accessories, the rooftop tent, the Overlander rack. Yep. The lights, like you said, the Nismo wheels, the side steps. Yeah, and we have, we have, if you're a local guy, we have the racks. We have got three racks in stock. Um, I, I don't foresee us shipping these. They're huge. Yeah, they're huge and even broken down in the erector set. They are, they are, they're, they're heavy. The, yeah. They're massive. The so, box is like 10 feet by yeah. two feet by two feet. So I don't see those getting shipped, but if you, uh, you know, if you, Hopefully you can find a local dealer that can help you out with those um, yeah. because they are great. But look out in the future for the tents and things like that. Um, but yeah, with the new Z car, I think what's interesting is that it, we're not just seeing this growth in Japan. It's almost like it's happening on both sides with the with the U.S. I don't know what's happening in other demographics, but I keep an eye on stuff happening in Japan. Um, this morning, did you see the new Nismo Motors? I did. I did. Yeah. Um, uh, we have no reason to get super excited about those. It's not something we're going to carry, but um, you should head to the Nismo Japan website. Check it out. They've got an S2, an R3, and an R4 RB26 DETT. The R4 is a 2.8 liter RB26, and you look at the specs on it, and it's wild. You look at the price of it. Yeah. I, mean, I would... Um... <laughs> you probably sit down <laughs> yeah. uh, when you're looking for the price. But, but it's really exciting to see that kind of stuff. That someone at Nismo was like, you know what, we need to do this. Because there there's a group of people out there, small group of people, that would be interested in something like this. And HKS has an RV26, and I have seen them popping up in cars online. So people are buying them. They're, they're not me and this guy, and we're not gonna sell them. That's not, that's not what we're doing. We're trying to help you get your door panels mounted right and stuff like that. It's <laughs> <laughs> real basic. Um, but, um, but yeah. And then something that just happened recently. Tom got a new car. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, a new car. We're not gonna talk about it right now. Can we give us some teaser details? Okay. 1992. Okay. All right. Five speed. 84,000 84, original miles, <laughs> bought it from the original owner, and it is a cream puff. It is nice. It's. I'm actually a little bit mad about it. Because I didn't say anything to anybody about it. And I saw it, and I knew what it was. And, I, and, you, and you know what's funny? You're it's a like jerk. The day, like a day or two before I bought it, he came up to me and he goes, Hey, does you see that? such and such that Adrian's been driving? What's going on with that? I'm like, oh, I think I saw him driving that, yeah. But I knew the whole time that I was buying it, but I didn't want to jinx myself. I'm a bit superstitious. But anyway, anyway, in the new year, we'll do like a feature video on that or yeah, something like that. Yeah, for sure. And uh, the bad news is, is it doesn't need anything. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's cool. It will after you beat on it a little bit. <laughs> uh, 
What else you got? Um, actually, one more thing I forgot to put down here that I was, you know, looking back over this past year is that we've opened up all these other countries uh, as ship to destinations. Yeah. And it's really cool. We get orders in from Germany, Finland, Puerto Rico, um, UK, UK, Ireland, Australia, um, Australia, Japan has started ordering stuff from us now, which yeah. is just, it's weird. Yeah. It's weird. But yeah, lots of new countries and lots of new, lots of new people taking care of the cars. Yeah. Um, Nismo Club Sport Wheels, the white edition. I think that that's, uh, you know, what, I think a lot of this goes right back into that renewed enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Nissan did a super limited run on those wheels and they, you know, flew off the shelves everywhere. Um, they opened up ordering for LMGT4s, which we have some coming, but we're probably late spring. Um, everything come from Japan takes a long time, but there is a lot of stuff happening behind the scenes at Nissan, a lot of stuff happening here behind the scenes. So 2022 is gonna be fun. I'll tell you what, I'll take that back. It's gonna be a pain in my butt, but it's gonna be fun for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fun for y'all, it won't be fun for me. We'll save this for the first video of the next year. This is our last video, guys. This is it. So, so we're just gonna hang out with you for a little bit. and You guys should hit the comments down there. Let us know what your favorite parts of 21 were. And yeah, what you hope for in 2022. Yeah, yeah what you want. What do you, you want to see? What do you want us to do? Right. What do you want us to get for you? Yeah, what do you want? What do you need? We can't make parts. Don't ask yeah, we, us to yeah, make something. Yeah, we don't actually make parts. <laughs> um, but we're pretty good at ferreting stuff out that people have forgotten about. Yeah. Well, people think we make parts because they've been told by five other dealers that stuff's discontinued. And then when we bring it in, because distribution centers have hundreds of them, mm -hmm. it's like, ha, ha, ha. That and the underground vault that we have here. Yeah, that too. We, yeah. Oh, we're gonna quit talking about that. Well, we had people trying to rummage around down there. I lost the keys, but I haven't been down there. Well, they got the stolen. Keys. That's how people got in there. Um, but yeah, we've been a Nissan dealership since 1914. <laughs> and so we've got a good stockpile of old Nissan dots and parts under the building. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. I hope you have a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas and whatever else you wanna <clears throat> say. Give yourself a break. Take a moment. And reflect. Chill. Give thanks. Yeah. Or get off your butt and do something. Whichever one's the opposite of how you are, do it. Do the exact opposite of what you normally do. If you're lazy, 99% of the year, you got the 1% at the end of the year to fix that. Otherwise, take a break. <laughs> Chill. I don't even know what you're talking about anymore. I don't either. Anyway, thank you for supporting us over the past year and being so patient with us. Getting stuff has been work at times, hmm. but um, that's what we're here to do. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I, I, you guys are great. And I, I haven't you. said this before in any of our videos, but I just want you to know that I sincerely love each and every one of you. And I think about you often. <laughs> I don't call anymore. I don't send you flowers or bring you chocolates. <laughs> he does often give you a 10% off discount code. Yes. Though, which you can go buy your own chocolates with the difference. Yes. Not this week though. No, we're not doing any any discount codes this week. But tip, the code from last week will work until Monday. But don't tell anybody, don't tell anybody. If they don't subscribe to the channel, don't tell them. Yeah. We have a way to make the code work for unsub unsubscribers or subscribers and only works for subscribers. Yeah. Are you hungry? Is that my stomach making yeah, that's that noise? You, I just ate something, that's but you. I drank too many energy drinks, so. Too many monsters today. <coughs> All right, we're gonna get off here for real. All right, we'll see you next year in the future in the future well what's it going to be like 2022 in the future purple backdrops back or it is. is actually a different one but the back color backdrops are back got tired of the gray wall i liked it i thought it was kind of industrial rough and rugged i just have to have a switch up we just had to change it that's true hello hello is this thing off? This thing doesn't work. All right, bye. All right, see ya.